What is going on everybody and welcome back to Bourbon of the Week. My name is Chris. I'm going to be your host for today and I know what you're thinking looking at my set right now. We are not ready for Christmas but Thanksgiving is over so it's time to pour up some Christmas cheer. I've got to tell you here at Bourbon of the Week we have a lot going on. Five days of giveaways. 25 days of Christmas where 25 samples were sent to me from my patrons and we're going to try and guess what they are over the next 25 days starting on December 1st. But today... We have a brand new bottle brought to you by Penelope. This is Penelope Barrel Strength, aged nine years, coming in at 109 proof. This is going to be a fresh crack Wednesday. So let's open this up, let's pour this up, and let's get into the holiday spirit. Gosh, oh gee, how happy I'd be if I could only whistle. I actually can't whistle, which is kind of annoying, but that's like the best I got. I didn't take a video of this for the Instagram. Oh well, fresh crack Wednesday. See if we can get a good bottle pop. Very nice. By the way, this bottle was provided to us by Tom Burns. Tom, appreciate you sending me that. We just saw a review of this done by friend Minnick himself, and I got to tell you, he gave it a great review. Let's see if we do the same thing here on Bourbon of the Week. Everybody knows before we get started, though, time for the traditional sip. Cheers, y'all. All right, here we go. That's right, Fred Minnick actually said this might be in his top 25 whiskey of the year and he was very excited to try it. This is Penelope, we obviously know this is coming from MGP, although Penelope is owned by MGP, so is it coming from MGP or is it coming? You get the point. This is a mash bill of 85% corn, 10% rye, 2% wheat, 3% malted barley, and they wasted no time getting into the good stuff over at MGP, coming at a nine year age statement. You know how we do things here at Bourbon of the Week. Price, taste, drinkability. We always start with drinkability. 109 proof, nothing crazy. But how does this drink for 109 proof? Sorry, we're still finishing the bar back here. I don't know if you could hear that or not. Let's try this with drinkability. Now here's the thing, 109 proof is nothing too crazy, right? I drink 120, 130, 140 proof whiskey, but at the end of the day, I have a lot of friends, a lot of family in my life that don't drink whiskey the way that I do. They don't drink 120 proof whiskey. This is something that I would introduce to them on the second step. Basically, you start with 80, 90 proof whiskey, then you try and move into that 100 proof range. This is 109, but it doesn't drink anything like 109 proof. So I would use this as a second step whiskey while there's other whiskeys that are 109, 110 proof that I would consider a third step whiskey because they're a little bit out of that proof point when you're moving on from 80 proof. This is not one of them though. The drinkability on this is absolutely fantastic. One more sip then we'll give you a score. Now listen, we're going to dive deeper on this when it comes to taste, but I will say 85% corn and only having 10% rye means you're not going to mix up any spicy notes when it comes to the ethanol kick on this. 109 proof. We've got to put this easily in the nines when it comes to drinkability. 9.01 seems like a fair spot for this. One more sip and I'm going to confirm that for you though real quick. 9.01 seems fair to me, so let's keep it there. Let's get into taste on this right now, which I think is where this bottle truly shines. Listen to me, come here. I don't think there's a lot of bourbons out there today that truly exemplify what bourbon should taste like. If you take a look at my top 10 list for this year, there are only a few bourbons on there, and the ones that are on there are because they exemplify the bourbon flavor profile. Green River does it very well, especially for the price point. Barrel Foundation does it extremely well, again, especially at that price point, and that's the first non-cash strength release coming out of Barrel. This bottle right here is the third example that I can think of off of the top of my head that perfects the bourbon flavor profile, and I absolutely love it. Let's take one more sip and get our notes. Tom, I'm sorry, I might have to drink a little bit more of this tonight. These tasting notes are going to sound boring, but I don't want it to seem that way at all. There are a lot of sweet notes on this in every type of good way that you can imagine. The vanillas, the caramel stand out, obviously, but then it comes into this confection sugar note. There's a fruity note on this, but it's like a tart fruit, like a raspberry or something like that, where the fruit hits your mouth, but at the end of the day, you get a little bit of that sour note in the back of the glands, and I love that. You still have the spice on this, not a lot. I would like a little bit more particularly for my particular flavor profile, but this is just so good when it comes to the sweetness and then you get a little bit of that oak influence on the end you're nine years on here a sweet barrel oak on this nothing deep when it comes to the char if you ask me this is the perfect glass of bourbon for me for every day for something that i would love to drink 109 proof all these sweet notes i don't know what else you're looking for if you're not trying this and if you don't like this 
I wanna give you guys a little bit of insight right now. This bottle is about to be in Fred Minnick's top 25 list of his top 100 whiskeys of the year. If that happens, this bottle is gone. Off the shelves, you won't find it. And if you do, it's on the secondary market for $50 more than what it's supposed to be. That's how much power this man has. I love Fred. I'll link his video above if you wanna check out his description on this. But this bottle, the taste is fantastic. The drinkability is so good. One more sip, I promise you. Then we'll give you a score when it comes to taste. 9.35. 9.35 only because again, that finish just seems a little bit short to me. Everything else on this bottle is exactly what I'm looking for. 9.35 because there's always room for improvement. Let's get a price on this bottle, which is just another great thing about this bottle. This bottle currently sits at $70. And I say currently because if he does drop this on his top 25 list, I guarantee you it won't be sitting at $70 too much longer if it's sitting at all. This bottle at $70 is an absolute steal. We see the way the market is going in the bourbon world. MGP obviously wants this brand to be successful. They're going to give them access to some of the best barrels that they have. And MGP, whether you like it or not, puts out some great whiskey. Four grain mash bill, you're talking 109 proof, you're talking nine year age statement, all wrapped up in a $70 price tag. You cannot be mad at that at all. One more sip, we'll give it a score when it comes to price. 9.46. I think it deserves to be up that high. Again, the finish on this is the only thing that I'm truly knocking. When it comes to a traditional bourbon, if you're out there looking for something that is a traditional bourbon, which is hard to find these days with all the finishes and all the double oaks, this right here exemplifies MGP, which we know makes great whiskey, Penelope, which we know blends great whiskey, nine years old, 109 proof. Everything about this bottle screams perfection. So 9.46 is where we're going to put it because I think they could get a lot more money they could put this whiskey in some type of limited release and they would get a lot more money for it. So at $70, 9.46 is where we're going to put it when it comes to price. But listen, we're going to skip this week's bourbon bomb of the week and do my thoughts on what I've been thinking because it's the holiday season. And I want to show you how you can support your favorite creator here on Whiskey Tube. Now listen, it's the holiday season, so we all know it's bourbon hunting season. All of those allocated drops are coming out, all the pappies are coming out, and everybody's looking for all of them. But what you might not know is it's also content creation season. Maybe it's a whiskey advent calendar. Maybe it's a top five gifts for the holiday season. Maybe your favorite TikToker is going live every Tuesday night just so you can watch him and talk whiskey with him. But if you don't know that, what you've got to recognize is there are ways to support these content creators, and maybe you don't know about them, and that's what I'm here to tell you about tonight. Now this isn't just for myself because I do have a Patreon, but a lot of people don't know what Patreon is. And a lot of whiskey YouTubers use Patreon to support their channel. Basically, you go to patreon.com, you look up your favorite whiskey YouTuber. Maybe you check them out on TikTok. Maybe you check them out on YouTube. Maybe you check them out on Instagram. Check their bio. If they have a Patreon, you can go over there. And the best thing about Patreon is everybody thinks you're just paying these YouTube content creators. But at the end of the day, there are a lot of benefits for you guys that you might not know about. So only because I don't wanna speak on other content creators, I'm gonna tell you what I have to offer, but I do want you to check out your favorite content creator on WhiskeyTube to see what they have to offer. I have things like a Discord. We chat 24 seven just with our Patreons. We do one month hangouts. At least we try to sometime in my busy season. We do miss stuff like that. We have merch. We have Glen Karens. We have Glen Karen holders for a two year gift. We have flasks for a one year gift. We have merch like shirts, hoodies, all kinds of stuff like that that you get for free just by being a patron. For some of my higher tier Patreons, I send out a whiskey sample every month. So every three months, you get three samples, two ounces from my collection, anything that you want. I have a lot of whiskey behind me. I'm not going to drink it all. So I want to share it with the people that want to support me. Check out your favorite whiskey YouTuber. It's usually patreon.com backslash whatever their handle is, but make sure you check out any of their links and bios to find out exactly what it is. This holiday season, try patreon.com, support your favorite creator. It's a great way to get into a community that maybe you did not have before. But listen, that's just my way this holiday season of showing my support to everybody on Whiskey YouTube. I know it's a lot of work, especially this time of the year. So make sure you check out all of the Patreon pages and support your favorite YouTube creator. I'm not going to make you wait any longer. This bottle comes in at a 9.27. I know it's in our top five. I think it's in our top three. I have a couple videos to edit before this still that also did very well. I think this is in our top three though. Fred Minnick's about to put it in his top 25. Make sure you grab this bottle if you have an opportunity at $70 because it's about to fly off of the shelves. But hey, that's it for today. Make sure you click that like and that subscribe button if you haven't already. This Friday, we start our blind samples sent to us from 25 different patrons and try and guess what they are, and we rank them as we go. Make sure you check me out on Instagram at Bourbon of the Week. Go click that follow button over there. Check out our Patreon page and the Discord, both those links in the description below. Please don't drink a drive. Always drink responsibly. Stay healthy, stay happy, and stay buying Fred Minnick's Top 25 before he puts out the list. Cheers, y'all.